got a beautiful recipe for you. I'm going to show you how to make this amazing salad. It's going to be crisp, fresh and vibrant and then we're going to top it with a beautifully cooked fillet of salmon. I've got some white wine vinegar straight into a pan. This has just been getting warm and then we're going to turn the heat up. So, top off the cucumber and then put your hand on the cucumber, put your fingers right up out the way and we're just going to cut this straight down the middle. You see all those seeds? It's full of water. We need to get rid of those. So, teaspoon and just push them straight out. I've got some fennel seeds here. I'm just going to add a few of those into my vinegar and that'll just help bring the flavour along. And then a little bit of honey will just take the edge away from the vinegar. So we've got to work quite quickly because as soon as that comes up to the boil, we want the cucumber straight in there. Cut it nice long pieces, about half a centimetre thick. You want still a bit of crunch, you want the rawness of the cucumber, but we just want to give it an edge with the pickle. This vinegar is up to boil, so we'll take it off the heat and then straight in. We'll just give that a little stir, make sure that all the cucumber is submerged in the vinegar. Got my pestle and mortar here, we're going to take some fennel seeds and we'll just straight in, about a tablespoon. This is all going to act as part of our seasoning for the salmon. Then a sprinkle of sea salt, that'll do, so we'll pop that to one side. Now, one of my favourite ingredients, fennel, it's going to make this salad so fresh and vibrant. Cut the bottom off and take that outer piece off, you don't need that. Cut it straight down the middle. And you see this little core piece there, that bit will never cook or render. So a little triangle cross will just take that out. And then we are just going to take our knife and just shred this as thin as you can possibly manage. Because we're going to serve this raw. So you don't want great big chunks, it just needs to be beautifully thin. Look, if I show you that, look how thin that is. You want to be able to see through it almost. And these little fennel tops here, these little herbs, Hang on to these because they are full of flavour and they will give a lovely fragrance and freshness to it. So we've got our fennel, we've got our fennel tops and then we're also going to add some apple in there as well. Not a normal ingredient but a Granny Smith apple gives a real burst of flavour and freshness and that wonderful acidity will just cut through the richness of the salmon so well. All I'm going to do is cut these into really fine matchsticks. It's really important to work quickly when you're with the apple because you don't want it to start oxidising. We need to get that into some acidity quite quickly, otherwise it's going to go that horrible brown colour. What I'm going to do is just get myself a straightforward glass bowl and then a lemon, because with any fish it needs lemon, every dish. And then we're just going to squeeze that lemon juice through my hands. Catch any of those pips. And usually when you make a salad you want a third acidity, so if you're using vinegar, lemon juice, orange juice, lime, any vinegars, any acids, you want a third. Then you want two thirds olive oil and that'll kind of make a roundabout dressing for you. So don't measure it, just use your eye. Just bring that together and then I'm going to add again a touch of honey because what honey does to a salad dressing, it just kind of bridges the gap between the acid and the oil. So half a teaspoon because you don't want it to be sweet but you just want to amalgamate the two flavours together. Right, let's just whisk that up together. A little bit of seasoning, so a little bit of salt and then a little bit of black pepper in there. Really important now, straight in with the apple because I don't want the apple to go brown. I want that acid in the dressing to coat it and then it won't go that horrible sort of oxidised colour. So just press it down into there and then straight over the top with your fennel. Just break it all up and then we'll add our fennel tops in. Just a quick chop, break them down. If you have a look at our cucumber, See how it's just started? Look, the vinegar's kind of done its thing. It's just started to break it down a little bit. So, really important, fish it out of the vinegar. Drain the vinegar off, because we don't want it too sharp. I've got watercress here. Lovely and peppery and mustardy, and it kind of just gives that real kind of warmth to it. Just break it up a little bit and just sit it on top. So I've got some chives. Again, these are quite an oniony flavour and they just help bring the whole dish together. Just a few of these, you don't want loads. Maybe half a bunch is fine. And then I've got some flat leaf parsley. So just roll it all up and then just run your knife through it. And then just scoop the whole lot up and just sprinkle it in. So that salad, just leave it now. Don't touch it, don't mix it, don't do anything with it until you're ready. The very last minute is when we mix that together. Because if you do it now, 
The lemon juice in there will start to break everything down and your salad will become really wilted. So while the salad is sat there, we are gonna prepare the salmon. What I've got is a full side of salmon. So if I just unwrap this, and I'm gonna leave the skin on because I think it really helps keep it nice and moist and it goes nice and crisp as well. So we've got this salmon, it's been boned um, and it's been descaled and all you need to do is ask your fishmonger, whoever you're gonna buy it from, to do that and I'm sure they will do it for you. A Little bit of oil on here. So it's really important when you're frying things is you put the oil on the meat or the fish or the vegetables, not in the pan. So I've got a nice big non-stick frying pan here. Gonna get that hot while we prepare the salmon. So just rub the oil onto the fish and then with your other hand, Take the fennel seeds and we'll just season that up. And we're gonna do this on both sides. Most of the time you'll find salmon hasn't got a massive flavor. It's a bit like chicken, really. It'll take a good amount of seasoning. And then I'm gonna take a lemon and we're just gonna add some lemon zest on top of it. So just little scrapings, fennel, lemon, salt and pepper all together are gonna make a beautiful combination of flavors on this and it will work so well. Again, just pat all those flavors down on there and then we'll just turn the fish over, and then we've got this beautiful skin here. Take a good, sharp knife, and what I want you to do is just pinch the fish together so it becomes quite plump, and then we're just gonna make some little cuts in there. So just run the knife in, and this means we get flavor inside the fish as well as on the outside. Take a piece of kitchen roll, and then we're just gonna pat it dry, because what we wanna do is get a really beautiful crispy skin on this. These cuts now allow me to get loads of flavor in. So if I just run my finger along all those scores while I'm sprinkling the fennel and sea salt in there, it means I can then push that right in. Season up with some black pepper and then on with the oil. Then we're just gonna rub that in and make sure that there's a bit of oil on all the fish. So just go one, two, three, and then into the portion there where we've cut it already. So I'm just gonna do two portions for this one. We need to check that the pan is nice and hot, and I can feel we've got a good amount of heat there. We're gonna cook the fish skin side down first. Pop it in, if you can hear that noise, that means it's nice and hot. So skin side down, lay it away from yourself, and then we don't touch that now. And the reason that we do it this side is we get the skin as crisp as we want it, then we flip it over and we add some moisture, some butter, some lemon juice, so that then the base of the fish stays nice and moist and soft, but we've got that super crispy skin. So the salmon is cooking in the pan. It's just, it's just sizzling away nicely. And what I can do is I can just lift this over and you can see there that it is starting to crisp up. Don't be tempted to turn it over yet. We're gonna take about 30 grams of butter and we're just gonna add that in. And that will give a lovely richness, it'll stop it drying out and it'll help give it a lovely golden color. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna caramelize a lemon, the same lemon that we use the zest for on the fish, so we're using everything, and then we just pop that straight into the pan, either side of the fish. And then put the butter in the middle and just let that melt down. So you can see this butter is just melting around the fish. Just lift the fish over so that it actually sits in the butter and you can see it's moving around easily. Nothing's sticking, everything is just cooking together and we're getting beautiful flavors all in the same pan. So I'm gonna turn this salmon over, there we go, and you can see beautiful crispy skin there and that's now gonna cook on a low heat. So I'm just gonna turn it down because we've got our high heat, we've got our crispy skin and now we just wanna cook it through gently. The salmon has been cooking for about three or four minutes on this side and I can feel it's nice and firm, which to me tells me it's cooked. I'm just gonna very carefully lift the fish out, pop it on a piece of parchment paper and just let it rest there for a minute. And then these lemons, you see these lemons here? What they've been doing is caramelizing. If I turn those over, you can see what they're doing. Okay, they've got a really kind of sweet, kind of jammy, lemony flavor and they're gonna be incredible. And all this flavor in here, we do not want to lose. We want to keep that. Take the lemons very carefully and squeeze them out. And this is kind of making another dressing for us. And then we'll just swill that there. You can't buy that kind of dressing. You can only make it. That is full of flavor. So I've got two plates here. And then remember our salad. We haven't touched it. We haven't mixed it at all. Now is the time when you can do that. Get a big spoon. 
and we're just going to mix this together. Make sure all the apple and the fennel and the watercress all run through together. And then we're just going to take a good handful. Make sure that you get a little bit of everything in there, okay? And we'll pop that straight on top there. And then we just carefully lift the salmon off and we're just going to pop that straight on top there. And then with this dressing, nap it over the top of the salmon and around. This is going to have incredible flavour. So there you have it, my fennel, apple and pickled cucumber salad topped with a beautifully cooked crispy fillet of salmon with an amazing dressing finished on the top. Mm -hmm.